Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another ZD Toys Iron Man figure unboxing and review video. Now today we are going to be taking a look at the Mark IV but this time it's the LED light up version. Now I got mine from toyswonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. If you do like seeing figure reviews just like this one, why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. Here of course we have the box art and I absolutely love the way this looks. An image of the figure himself on one side, Iron Man 2 Mark IV on the other, Iron Man 2 on the side of the box and then a very nice metallic finish with an image of the figure in a three point landing pose. But this box has a party piece. If you flip open the front cover you reveal not only the rest of the arc reactor but an image of the Mark IV with the chest plate removed. This is completely unnecessary but I love it. It just makes for a very special unboxing experience. And considering how inexpensive these figures are, I was quite surprised the first time I saw that. But first in hand impressions of the Mark IV, yeah, they're very positive. Underneath the top tray you do have another down below. So what we are going to do now is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Here we have all the parts and pieces. Now starting off with the display base first, this should be a very familiar sight. It's the translucent hexagonal base with Marvel Studios down below a multi-jointed fully articulated flight pole and a spring-loaded waist clamp. Now if you do want to have your Mark IV displayed mid-flight you do get some blast effects. But interestingly enough you only get two, whereas with the standard version you get four. One for each of the feet and then one for each hand. Seeing as though the LED versions are more expensive I would have thought you were going to get everything. But nevertheless you do only get two. They are cast in translucent yellow plastic with some shading towards the edges so when you peg them in they actually look like they're blasting out of either his hands or feet. Speaking of which you do get a bunch of interchangeable hands. They are all painted in the same way with this gorgeous metallic red and they are panel lined in between each finger plus the repulsor is fully painted in. You also get a pair with holes in the palms so you can peg in those blast effects and yeah that's a pretty darn convincing effect. Lastly you also get a micro USB cable. You peg this into his back, charge him up and away you go. What we are going to do now though is get the Mark IV himself out here and take a closer look. Here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. And for the most part we kind of already knew what to expect. This is the already great Mark IV from ZD Toys. The sculpt work, the paint applications and the articulation, yeah, it's all on point. Except this time we have the addition of the light up arc reactor and the eyes, which add a ton of presence. This suit no longer looks like a dead empty lifeless shell, it looks alive like Tony is actually in it. Speaking of which, the proportions are really good. It looks like a dude in a suit. That's something that some people either really like or really don't. I've seen a couple of comments saying Justin the proportions are awful and then vice versa I've seen comments saying that the proportions are great. I'm in the camp that think they look really good and it looks very realistic but if you do prefer the more stylized look such as what we get with Marvel Legends then yes I totally understand. What we are going to do now though is take him off the rotating turntable punch in and take a closer look at the details. Here we have him up close and personal. Now we will be talking about the Mark IV itself first and then we'll be talking about the light up. Now starting off with the helmet, yeah that's quintessential Iron Man. The sculpt work is crisp and clean and so too are the paint applications. 
he's covered from head to toe in this stunning glossy metallic hot rod red. Plus, the gold sections are no slouch either. I don't know how they get the pinstriping line so darn clean. They also have a ton of washers down in the crevices just to bring out all that extra sculpt work. Now, around the back, you do have some sculpted and fully functional flaps that when you lift them up, you have some extra detail underneath them. Now, of course, when you close them, they do look nice and seamless. You do also have a bunch of different pop-out joints. The arms can be extended to give you slightly more range, but they have sculpted the inside of those joints, and they are also fully painted. Something that I noticed this time around is that there is some added detail around the collar. I love the way that looks. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure y'all are here to see the light up. Around the back, there is a button, you simply push it, and his arc reactor and his eyes are lit up. This is awesome. Now you do simply remove this top cover section to reveal a micro USB port so you can charge him up. The batteries are all integrated. And the best part about it being integrated in the top section is that you can extend the torso and get a full range of motion. Nothing is hindered whatsoever. This integrated lighting system is something that I'm hoping to see going forward from other companies making high-end Iron Man figures. I know fully built-in batteries aren't for everyone, but for ease of use and if you take care of them, yeah, I think it'll work really nicely. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have the Mark IV LED on the left and the Mark I LED on the right. And as you can see, these two look really good standing together. Now in my display, I do plan to do a Hall of Armor of all LED figures, because having them lit up, yeah, that's going to be a sight to behold. But nevertheless, the Mark I LED is ever so slightly taller than the Mark IV, as it should be. He's this big, bulky exoskeleton, whereas the Mark IV is much more refined. But at the end of the day, if you think the Mark IV isn't quite tall enough, you could always extend the hip joints to give him slightly more height. Don't worry, we will discuss that a lot more when we get to articulation. Next up, here we have the DC Collectibles animated series Batman. And as you can see, he's a 6 inch scale figure, so he is significantly shorter than the Mark IV. Now this should give you a rough idea as to how other 6 inch scale figures are going to work with Iron Man. Because ZD toys kind of operate in their own weird one-tenth-ish scale, you are going to struggle to make them fit in with Marvel Legends or SH figure arts. But at the end of the day, if you do want to have them just hovering in the background doing a badass flight pose, then maybe the bigger size isn't going to be as big of an issue. Just going over articulation. Now, bear in mind, this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I am willing to go. Now, starting off with the head sculpt, it is on a ball joint. Looking forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. The arms will go out to there, but don't forget you can extend them out and they will go up slightly further. Going forward and back, butterfly joint at the shoulder that also hinges up and down. Swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow that does get you past 90, and a ball joint for the wrist. The torso will crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side, but just like the arms, it can extend out to give you even more range in pretty much all of those directions. The legs can also be dropped down, as you can see this side is now sitting a lot lower, going forward to there, going out to there, swivel at the upper thigh, double bend at the knee that does get you past 90, and then of course a ball joint down here for the ankle. Just wrapping up on the ZD Toys LED light up version of the Mark IV. Now just like the previous Mark IV, I love this figure. The design has always spoken to me. It's crisp and clean, yet relatively bulky at the same time. A lot of people widely regard the Mark IV and VI as some of the best MCU suits, and I can totally see why. So basically what ZD Toys have done is taken their already fantastic figure 
and popped in their light-up technology. That means the eyes in the arc reactor glow a treat. And you very simply plug it in with micro USB and you have one button to activate all of the lights. I love it. Now I totally understand, if LEDs aren't for you, the standard version is still exceptional. But to have these guys lit up for action figure photography and in your halls of armor, yeah, I think they are going to pop in the collection. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. If you do like the idea of seeing your name featured in the end credits of my reviews, check out the join button right next to the subscribe icon for Justin's collection plus Max, the YouTube channel memberships. Like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.